Hi, I'm Eric Blevins with HyperMX here at Pocket Gamer Connects London, and I'm joined by Samir El Ajili, president of Tilting Point. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Yes, good to have you. Now, I'd like to jump into your background in the gaming industry to get started. I know you were at Gameloft for about 10 years before coming to Tilting Point. Uh, what did you bring from Gameloft, and what's your role entail as president? Wow. Well, yeah, I've been in the gaming industry since 2003, in the mobile gaming industry, okay. which is uh, probably one of the beginnings of the mobile gaming industry. So I like to say that I've lived through uh, three of the big revolution of mobile games. Um, the first one was the arrival of the iPhone, because I used to make games on black and white devices with keyboards, right, right. and the iPhone obviously changed the world and able to really move it to the next step, and also it changed it from being a carrier a building world to a platform building world. Uh, the second thing was free to play, mm -hmm. uh, which really again completely changed uh, the mobile gaming ecosystem, how we build games, how we market games, how we publish games, absolutely everything. And I think the most recent one that we're in is probably the ad revenue revolution where everything right. now is, or a big chunk of the revenue, probably 50% of the market is driven through ads. Uh, so, living through the whole experience of, of building mobile games and, and through these different revolutions has given me a lot of uh, ability to, to try to understand what's hap what could happen next sure. and to react. Got it, nice. And you know, aside from expanding offices, what are some of the other evolutions that have happened at Tilting Point over the years? Um, anything new you offer in terms of user acquisition or technology that maybe some of the other publishers don't? Sure, absolutely. I would say we, we, we moved on from being more of a traditional publisher in the sense of uh, finding games that are being developed mm -hmm. and releasing them to what we like to call a live game publisher. So we focus a lot on games that are already live and we help developers uh, and make these games even more successful. We scale them to success. Uh, so that's one of the first things that changed. And the other thing that changed, the primary other thing is that we went from being more of a consulting expertise company that mm -hmm. helps developer improve their game to uh, a technology-based company. So everything that we do at Tilting Point, all our publishing capacity is based on technology. We have uh, machine learning technology for user acquisition. Okay. We have machine learning technology for live operations. And that's what really makes us very different than our competition. So Samir, uh, I heard and saw a few articles about a pretty big round of funding uh, that Tilting Point went through. Right. Explain what you're doing with that. Right. Well, we have a, we used to have a $12 million per year user acquisition fund that we uh, put, put in place in about two years ago that was extremely successful. We went through that money very rapidly. And we've raised that to $132 million per year that we use for user acquisition and that's for our partners to scale their games to success. So this is really something that is very unique to us, especially that combined with our technology right. and combined with our expertise in, in user acquisition where we usually start every partnership that way. We're going to start by saying, you have a great game, we can scale it, mm -hmm. and we're going to use our own funds out of this $132 million a year, our own technology and our expertise, and if we manage to scale your game successfully that way, we can partner up for the long term and do a lot of different things to you. What can we expect in 2019? I, I've heard that Warhammer, there's a, a new IP you're working with. Yes, yeah. that's absolutely true. We have four very exciting IPs IP-based games mm -hmm. coming out. All of these are being built by some of the partners we already work with okay. in our user acquisition uh, expertise and live ops expertise. Um, and uh, I can, you already really released one of them, revealed one of them, which is Warhammer. There are three others where we can't okay. announce I hope it. the Warhammer was okay. It, yeah. Absolutely, it's fine, <laughs> it's in the press. Uh, we are very, very excited about that. It's yeah. a big year for us, and then we'll actually, most of them be released around Q4 or Q1, early Q1 next year, depending on how the soft launch goes. Okay, great, we're well, looking forward to it. Great. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you, great, great having you. Yeah, enjoy the rest of London. <laughs> Thank you.